Explain your, your your relationship with Nipsey. Obviously, you know, he was someone I looked up to, admired, got to befriend and mm -hmm. come close to. You know, to us, he's a legend. He's on the wall. Tell us what your relationship like with, was with Nipsey. I talked to J-Rock today, so he said what up, too. Tell him I said what I, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I got to know him the year before he passed, and uh, he came on my Five Minutes From Home show, took time out of his day, came up to the Bay. You know, we hopped in the back of the Sprinter, and... Like part of that film is usually only takes like an hour to get you know the footage and you have a good conversation all that like I I feel like I was talking to him for way longer than that just because of how real he was and his perspective on life and mm -hmm. like the way he talked about his daughter and raising her and, and his relationship with Lauren like all that type of stuff was just real and obviously his music you know it stands for itself but mm -hmm. um, when you have God in the spotlight that you know has a story and has a journey and is able to turn that into inspiration, you know, beyond any, probably anything he imagined. But the way that he carries himself speaks about more than Man, anything that he does. Facts. And the work that he does in the, in the community and all that type of stuff that, you know, his legacy is going to live on forever. It shook me because I just, I literally just met him. And, mm -hmm. you know, you, you appreciate people like that that have an impact on mm -hmm. you. But I'm sure it was somewhere you felt like you knew him forever because 100%. that's how that's, open, real, and raw he is. It's it, like... It's exactly. I watched that episode. I've watched it probably five or six times since since uh, wow. since we did it because there's so many gems in there from mm -hmm. him. Dropping game his, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and the way that he he speaks, it's, he's approachable. Like you, he takes you on a journey too. Like mm -hmm. you, you can tell, like tell the the authentic, it's authentic, and mm -hmm. and that that part of it is special. So you know, to his family and all that. Um, you mm -hmm. know, I know everybody has their back and. And uh, the legacy he leaves, we we all have to carry it, right? Yep. In, our, in our own, you know, special, unique way. So with yeah. honor, TMC, rest 100%. in peace, Nip. We saw that you attended uh, Kanye's Sunday service. I what did. was that like? Please tell me what that was like. I'm, I, I <laughs> absolutely please. loved it, bro. Really, like, the Sunday service is. Let's put it this way: I don't care somebody's past, you know, what they stand for. Like you can not agree with somebody. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and any and everything that they say, uh, but when they come in and represent Jesus, and they talk and, and everything that they do, and the music and the vibe and the spirit that they, that you feel in that place, like mm -hmm. it, it did something to me, like yeah. in terms of you know that what two and a half hour experience. And so um, I'm rooting for him, man. Like I'm mm -hmm. rooting for him in terms of what he's doing, the journey that he's on. Um, you know. If 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 he can change, or you believe that that, that that's can. possible, then anybody can. Mm -hmm. That's and I'm not gonna discredit my God in that in that respect. And so, and so I, I was I was curious about because I, I I heard so many people going and and just you know the choir and, or the collective and with Kanye and just and from his album and all that type of stuff. Like uh, I wanted to experience it. And I had a great time, man. It was, uh, it was it was it was legit. So because I said shout out to him. That's one thing Jack says. You know, we get, we don't have to always agree with what someone's saying, but we keep that line of respect. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I think just in culture today, the disrespect is crazy. And be able to sit down and have a conversation too. That's right? it. Like that's, get to know that him. part of it is yeah being able to open that door and, and have some actual progress. Because if not, we're just gonna sit on the other side of the line and just yell at each other yeah, the whole right. time, or like cast judgment to talk you know some trash about you and, and nothing's gonna happen so for him to put himself out there too that's the thing for me it's like big. that's huge mm -hmm. so i'm rooting for him i know you got a uh, friendship with drake what's that like it's all over the place because we was like because <laughs> of battle yeah, yeah. Just, we yeah, went to yeah. Yeah. Honestly, honestly uh it's crazy because obviously it started from the first name drop he hit me with the yeah. chef curry with chef the pot, curry. right i think i think that was like 2015 but um you know from there uh, we have some connections in, our, in both of our families. Aisha's cousin uh, is part of OVO crew, and so like we spend a lot of time together. And, and oh, does he have your number tattoo on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah with, the, uh, with the halo, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. The way you talk to him about that is like him respecting greatness yeah, all yeah. across the board. Whether it's some people that he just he's, all his tattoos mean it's something. Mean something. Yeah. Right? So like, it's nothing corny about it. It's literally like when you appreciate paying homage. Yeah. yeah, paying homage. Um, that's 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 love. So uh, last year was fun because the whole Toronto right. connection and all of him talking trash on the court. Um, he was talking you know, big me, shit. Draymond, everybody. He's good for basketball. Yeah, though. he is, man. Oh, great. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. There's a lot of talk about you know him with his antics and stuff yeah, on the sidelines. Yeah, and all I think that. it's great. Dude's an owner of the team, and he's yeah. passionate about what's going on here, and like that's getting everybody going and it's raising the popularity of the game. As long as he ain't interfering with the actual game, like, right, right, which he won't. Yeah, right. <laughs> he ain't gonna do that. So. Uh, I caught him after the finals. I was hot. I was. It was I, I, Personal at all, or 
No, I was just mad because we lost. Mm -hmm. But I was trying to like congratulate because I'm not his team and he right. it, I mean, it hurt. Did it? It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> it's all right. Like, God damn it, congratulations. <laughs> I'm over here laugh crying. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it was fun. Though, oh, man. it was fun. Though. He he shows love all the time. So tell me what it's like when you started hearing like being dropped in songs, like with different artists dropping your name in the song. What was that like? It was fun, man. Because anywhere you go, like they people, you hear that they wouldn't call you your name no more. But like, oh, Chef Curry with, with the, the pot. pot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I I can't keep a tab on how many times it's happened since then. But that was like the the first one that actually changed that status a little bit. Uh, the, my favorite one though is hilarious. Cardi B got the one with me and Aisha. She's like, I want to get married like the Curry, mm -hmm. Steph, and Aisha. Mm -hmm. yeah. That choice yeah. for me. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. dope. Steph and Aisha. There you go. Yeah. Standing we that more example. Like Belly, Tommy, Keisha. Like, yeah, yeah. That's what's <laughs> that's, up. that's my favorite. Joint. Right that's one of our biggest songs too. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard.